we have another work problem except this one's just a slight difference in it from the two previous problems should I draw a picture I don't know I'm thinking about it let's see what color what color should I use here we'll use gray so we have a tank well, that's not exactly going to get me a tank there. So we're going to attempt to draw a tank. We got a water tank. All right, so this tank is, is filling up my garden. It's the water I use to fill up the garden. It's coming from the well, let's say. So let's say here's the water line. It's in here somewhere. Hey, okay, we'll say we've got some water in there. And out towards the bottom, we're going to put some dotted lines because this indicates that you're looking through looking through the tank. Okay. In the middle of the tank, let's say down here is where the water is going to, the water is going to drain out down through that hole there. We have, okay, let's say we got a pipe here. Lovely, huh? Lovely pipe. And it's draining into the tank. We have a hole in the bottom of the tank, and that's where the water's leaking out. And we'll say that water's going to the garden. We'll say that. Okay. Now let's go ahead and read the problem. A tank can be filled in 12 hours. The drain can empty the tank in 20 hours. How long? will it take to fill the tank if the drain is left open so in other words we're really starting with an empty tank we've t we've opened up the drain we've turned on the water now how long is it going to take to fill well we know that the tank is going to fill because the uh, it's only taking 12 hours to fill the tank it's taking 20 hours to drain the tank so we know the rate of the water coming in the tank is greater than the rate going out. That's something we got to always keep in mind if we're going to problem like this. All right. So a part of the tank that's filled in one hour with the drain closed minus a part of the tank that's emptied in one hour is going to be equal to the part of the tank filled in one hour with the drain open. So this is a difference problem okay so it's just like the regular two work problems we did except we're subtracting it says a tank could be filled in 12 hours so in 12 hours or in one hour that means one twelfth of it all right is filled in one hour we're subtracting off now what's leaving the tank Okay, we want to subtract off what's leaving the tank. And that's going to be 1 over 20. In other words, 1 20th okay, of the tank is emptied in one hour. And that's equal to 1 over x. Okay, 1 over x. Part of the tank that's filled in one hour with the drain left open. That's that part. Okay, so we've set up an equation and we want to solve for x. Now, uh, um, this 20 can be written as 2 times 10, right? 
or actually four times five is 20. And the reason I'm pointing this out is we know that the largest number that goes into both 12 and goes into 20 is going to be four. Okay, I'm looking for the largest number that can go into both 12 and into 20. So we know that 12 is 4 times 3, 20 is 4 times 5. Right? Why am I even talking about this? Because once again, I'm going to multiply through. we got to get rid of this 12 and this 20. I guess really the best way to do it is... <clears throat> The best way to get rid of 12 and 20, we're going to have to rewrite this and actually, I've run out of room. I think what I'm going to do here is actually, let's just get rid of this. Let's cut that out of there. Cut. Okay. We're going to do it like this. <clears throat> 12 times 20 times x. What in the world happened there? What was that all about? That was weird. I don't know. That x is once. Yeah. <laughs> that x is thirsty. I guess. All right, we're going to multiply this. That was kind of strange. 1 over 12 minus That was weird. 12 times 20, and of course I write 30, it's green, and green's acting crazy today, 1220x uh, times 1 over 20 is equal to, there's a lot of different ways of solving this problem, I'm just having to do it this way this time x times, what are we times in it? I already lost my train of thought over x. Okay. So let's cancel. So you see these 12s cancel. That was the whole reason why it was 12 times 20. 20s cancel. x is cancel. See that? Now we're going to be left with 20x minus 12x is equal to 12 times 20. Now, of course, we can really simplify a lot of this because first off, 20, 12, and 20 times 12 are even numbers. So we know we can reduce a lot of this, but we'll just go with it here. So we got 20 minus 12. We've got two like terms. That's going to give us 8x is equal to, and uh, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like this. How's that? Here's And there's a reason why. Once we solve for this, we want to uh, simplify this down as much as possible, reduce this fraction. Okay. Well, we know that uh, down here in the denominator, 4 goes into 8 two times, and 4 goes into 12 three times. Okay, we do know that. 4 goes into 8 two times, 4 goes into 12 three times. And so... Uh, oh, I forgot what the heck I was doing. Um, anyway, so we have X, whoops. In fact, it'll probably reduce down more than that. 60 over, in fact, obviously it does, right? 60 over 30. I'm going to check all this out here. 12 times 20 divided by 8 is, yeah, 30. 
So if you don't have a calculator, whatever you want to do it in your head, that's probably the easiest way of doing things. Okay, 30. And 30 is what? What is 30? Done forgot. 30 hours. Takes 30 hours. Is that right? Yeah. It will take 30 hours to fill the pool with the drain left open. That's cool. Right? Huh. 30. Let's not forget our units here. 30 hours. 30 hours. All right. Enough, enough on that one. 10 minutes on that one. Anyway, see you in the next problem. I think we got another work problem coming up. I'm trying to remember. Anyway. Okay, see you there.